Hi guys, welcome back. So today we thought we would do a get ready with me. We're going to be doing our makeup, just chatting in general and also we'll explain what we're doing whilst we're doing it. So, let's go. So, settle in and watch us work. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so what are you starting with? So I probably, I'm going to start my concealer as usual. Oh, am I doing eyeshadow? Are you doing eyeshadow? I'm gonna start with skincare. I've already done skincare before. Oh, I didn't, because I'm silly. You've got to prime the canvas, you know? Look how I decorated it Christmassy. Well, I used to not bother with my skincare, like, at all. Um, but recently, I've been, like, noticing that like, my nose is dead dry. So, like, when I've been putting foundation on, it, like, comes off here and it comes off here. So, I've been stepping up my skincare to try and see. And I have noticed a difference. So, and I'm probably doing this all wrong. I don't really care. I do my... <laughs> There's no right way to do it. I do it? my own thing. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. So, I always start off, first of all, with a little bit of this now again probably wrong um hyaluronic acid is it yeah hyaluronic acid um from avant so what i did to um like prep my skin for skincare before um, makeup is i used you know, let the good times roll um like a face scrub sort of like face wash by lush and then um origins an origins face mask to moisturize my skin that's about it really I'm gonna start, um, cause I'm doing eyeshadow, I'm gonna prime the eyelids with Lasting Perfection Collection Porcelain 2 Extra Light. So you can get that um, bright base for the eyeshadow, basically. Cause you're okay. the color of a ghost. You have to tell me twice. I'm actually not. I then next go in with some eye boost cream and this one's from Glossy Box. Um, it's just supposed to get rid of like the puffiness of your eyes. So I just like to like, it's like a prime in your eyes essentially. I then take the Olay um, Total Effects 7 in 1 Anti-Aging Moisturiser uh, because this is SPF 15. The final thing that I use um, in my skincare routine is the um, Jack Black glow drops it's the highlighting primer um just put a little because this is very very pigmented um for primer like i know so you can't really probably can't see that well there. but yeah it's very very pigmented so i just oh, you could probably ah it's quite glowy oh i know so try not to use too much because then i would look like a bauble all done with the skincare so next up for me is going to be my brows next up for me is going to be some eyeshadow so a base color I, this is the one um eyeshadow palette that i use the most violet voss and laura lee and it's amazing there's these are the colors it's a little bit dirty because i use it quite a bit um so yeah my base color will probably be pris pot and Mama Bear, so that's usually my classic. So I'm just taking the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil. Um, this is the colour Espresso. Um, I find this is the perfect colour for, for, my, for my hair. So. Now, I ain't showing this on camera because I've used it quite a bit, so it's changed the colour. <laughs> but I take the um, <laughs> Colour Lash um, Collection Clear um, Mascara and I just do it to shape my brow. So, at the moment, this is like, it's not finished yet, but this is the kind of finished product. And then I'm going to do the same on this side and then can seal so i'm gonna go in with whiskers and probably a mix of bubs as well these two colors um just on the creases just to kind of give it a bit of definition but the, i usually use the same brush just because 
doesn't really matter if it's going darker. So I didn't really show it on camera um, and people might hate how I do my eyebrows, okay. So how I do it is I first of all draw the, the arch shape and then take this side, just, is, it, is it a spoolie? Yeah, take the spoolie side and just brush down and then I draw the shape on top and then I literally just fill it in with like little brush stroke fit. Oh, at least not very well on that one. I then take the clear mascara and just shape it in the shape that I am wanting. This is quite a boring eye look, but um, it really suits my eyes. And what of course don't don't suit my eyes at all. Then I'm gonna go in with basic, which is pretty basic to be honest, on the light area. I then take the uh, Revolution Conceal and Define um, Infinite um, Concealer and all I do is then is I like I go around the shape of the eyebrow just to, to clean it up. I use this brush, um, I don't use the brushes how what they say on the tin, I use them for whatever I like so I just go in with like a little small brush to just paint around. Just to fix my face um, I'm going to go in with the exact same kind of concealer, but in shade 4, because obviously that's my colour. So, my actual skin colour, it's extra fair. And I've used quite a bit of this actually. Put it under the eyes, because that's where the problems lie. Okay, should go to bed at 3am. I then take my beauty blender and just blend that in. So yeah, it should be blended in like that to provide like a good, might need to top up the concealer a little bit um, to provide like a good base for your eyeshadow, which is what I then do next. Now you probably noticed me and Emily have completely different ways as to how we do our makeup and that's because everyone's unique, everyone's different, don't do makeup in the same way, so. Yeah. So both concealed, sealing all of my flaws, can't actually not got any. So I've decided to use the Huda Beauty um, Nude Palette. Now, this is one of my all-time favourite palettes um, to use. So you can probably tell I batter it um, by other colours. I just, I just love it. So I've decided to do like a pink kind of look today. Um, I hope it turns out okay. Fingers crossed for me. Thank you. So Thank I you. am first of all going uh, dipping into this shade here, um, which is called Spanked. <laughs> um, oh. And I'm just gonna go. Oh, now, wonderful. these colors are really testament to the statement, trust the process. Um, Cause you will look like you've bruised your eyes, but don't worry. Hang in there. You need to concern yourself about that one. And my process is um, this awful looking, it was once clear, natural lashes, conditioning mascara by Technique, and a cheap brand because I don't really notice the difference between the uh, expensive stuff and the, uh, the cheap stuff when it comes to clear and mascara. And then you just simply brush out the brows. And that's my eyeshadow done. <laughs> I'm taking this this big brush um, from Real Techniques and I'm just going to blend that um, to an inch of its life. The only thing I can't gel well with this palette is that you take you have to build it up. So like, see it's quite patchy in parts, so I'm just going to... I think whilst my... The clear mascara is drying on my eyebrows. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this stuff, W7 Very Vegan Cream Contour Kit, that probably you might think looks a bit 
what my mum picked up for me a while ago. Um, I really like it. Also, this brush, these kind of brushes, it's W7 also, um, a lot of people hate them for this particular reason. I like it. I just rub it in, in there. You can't really hate me for this. Now this palette has a really good um, conceal, I'm not showing it because it looks gross, but on the bottom left hand corner there is a little um, concealer part, so I literally just take that on a small brush um, and then I'm just going to conceal. So what I'm going to be doing is heading onto my eyebrows, I'm not going, not doing a full filling but I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brow. I think actually I might need to start using a lighter colour but I've obviously got quite a lot left of this so I'm just going to go really light with it. Just sort of get a good amount on the brush and then cover this dark. Now this is a really unconventional method but I don't really care. I pinch it with my fingers so it's extra sharp, extra thin and extra sharp. You've got to make sure you don't touch your fingers with anything though. And then, so now that I have a rough, again, keep trusting this process, it will eventually turn out to be something, something awful. A little bit nice. Um, we then go in to this colour here, which is called Crave. To do that, again, I'm using another small brush. I do have several small brushes. I'm not using the, the same one each time. But again, if you do, I don't think it's the end of the world. Now, one thing to note with this is it is very, very glittery. So you want to pack it on. I'm going to actually use a bit, put a bit of glitter on, make it a bit more glam with the same palette as before. Okay, I'm going to use a mix of Hissy Fit and Fleeky because they're both gold. So here's Hissy Fit and here's Fleeky. So I'm literally just putting that colour Crave up until about the middle there. Um, because then I'm going to blend this out with a, with a darker colour. Again, trust this process, guys and gals. And you will see. Now I want to take this like rounded brush because I'm going to go into the corner here with a darker colour um, just to, to smoke that look out a little bit. I'm going to use a mix of teas and raw to these two colours along the bottom to just pack that in there. Now, just to add a little bit of definition to the eye, I will be going in with an eyeliner pencil um, here on my waterline and just um, on top as well. So yeah. And now, I'm gonna use some highlighter in the very corners. I've got Goddess of Love by Hit Revolution. Amazing highlighters, very highly recommend these. Um, with this very same brush, I'm just going to go like this and then in the very corner here. Now with that dark brush again, I'm going to go back into them same colours and then I'm just going to put some underneath. Okay. Um, I'm going to, oh, there's quite a lot used in this little palette, Smashbox Concealer Palette. I have got a new, another one, but I can't find where that, where that one is. Um, it's a bit less used, but... Anyway, we're going to go with the contour part of it with this thinner brush and just kind of work into the... And I'm just going to take my Glam Eyes by Rimmel London and I'm just going to draw my wing. Now 
with an eyeshadow colour, which is actually this palette that was bought before the whole controversy controversy with Jeffree Star. And I use Bleeding Heart. I've not used much of this yet because it's it's very adventurous for me. Bleeding Heart, this red one, and I just dab it on really quickly, which is quite a weird thing to do. And then use it as blush. Eyeliner done. Now it's just time to put a bit of uh, mascara on, and I use the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational. So I'm going to now do my foundation to so my face. Um, I'm first of all going to put a light layer of the Tarte Double uh, Double Duty Beauty um, foundation and this is in the shade Fur Beige. Now the reason I'm only going to use a light layer of this is it's very, very full coverage but this is a very light colour. As I couldn't colour my chocolate test before I bought it. It was a lockdown purchase. Um, so I'm going to go just on top just to add a little bit of colour with the Max Factor Radiant Lift Long Lasting Radiance uh, Foundation in the colour Porcelain. I'm going to go in with Rimmel London Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner and just provide a base for the lashes that I'm going to put on in a minute. I'm going to go in with the Radiant Lift. I'm now going to use the <laughs> Anastasia Contour Kit, the Cream Contour Kit. Um, to just carve out my face and go on top <laughs> of that with um, bronzer. So yeah, and I'm just gonna take, um, oh, it's a real technique brush, it doesn't say what it is, it used to, um, to just buff it out. These are from Wish. And I'm gonna, and they're absolutely massive, but I love it. Um, I'm gonna use this top pair here, but they're all very different. Sorry, I'm just gonna use the Revolution concealer just to highlight in the places that I need a little bit of highlighting. And then I'm going to take my MAC um, bronzer in the colour Dark Tan. Um, I can't express how amazing this bronzer is. I'm going to take a... I'm rubbish at brush names. Whatever this one is, a fluffy brush. Um, and I'm just going to lightly just dab it. And wipe off the excess. And then just go over what you've just done. Uh, next, I will then take um, Doll Beauty Doll Light Highlighter in the shade Like a Diamond um, and then just highlight. And I'm going to use my fan brush to do this. I recommend with this um, highlighter to spray the brush with a uh, setting spray beforehand because it's quite, I don't know, it just works better for me, but everyone's different. And the setting spray that I use is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting um, Setting Spray. And I just go. And the eyelashes are on. <laughs> I use Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara. It used to be gold, but now they've made it like a weird colour. I kind of like the new formula, it's a bit different, but. So my final step is my lips. I've decided to go for a slightly dark um, lip today uh, to go with the autumnal theme. So I am using the um, MAC Media lipstick. So it's what it would look like. And I don't really have a dark lip liner, so I'm just using like a nude um, for the contour of the lips. Um, and I'm using the Huda Beauty um, Flirt Liner. Next, I'm going to be using some highlight, the exact same highlight as the corner of my eyes, so it all matches. But I'm going to use this brush, which is like a foundation brush. But you know, 
it's very nice. I've found in the past few days that that applying the highlight. So that's it, guys. We've done our makeup. This is the, the final look. Mm. The final look for us both. So we've both gone for quite opposite looks. Um, Emily's is very golden. Uh, I'd say golden hour. Um, brassy. And mine's quite autumnally. Mm -hmm. Very different, but wintery. like. Yeah, wintery. They suit us both um, and both our personalities uh, very well. So I am um, very impressed with us both. Yeah. The only thing I'd say, because I, I do like to be critical and I don't like to be like, oh, everything was perfect, because in reality it's not. The eyeshadow palette that I used can be quite difficult to use and it was very difficult today blending that out. Um, so I did struggle, um, but I'm not that entirely disappointed with the outcome. These eyelashes as well are sticking up slightly, which is quite irritating. Yeah. Um, just here in the corner, but that's what you get when you pay three pounds on Amazon for a pack of six. Overall, I'm not completely disappointed with the outcome of this look. Um, you look very nice. Uh, I just, I'm not sure about the eyelashes at all. I just think they look a bit. I don't know. They make. No, they look very nice. Bits. They are mm -hmm. very long, but. No, they look. I like the, the length. Think... <laughs> I'm liking the length. That's well, what do you not part. like about them? Then? I, thought I you can't tell on camera. I think they just look wonky. But I don't no, know. They they're don't. not in real life. No. So I think it's time that we end this. It is. this video. <laughs> it's been quite long. Uh, well, it's been we've been filming for quite long. When we but... started it, it was bright outside. It is now getting dark. <laughs> so um, we need to go and have our tea. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go on a nice autumnal walk as well. So that's what we've been up to. Uh, let us know what you guys are getting up to in the comments. And if you have any tips um, to help improve our looks, feel free to drop them below. Uh, but other than that, I hope you all have a lovely week and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>